Welcome again to my channel and video. In this video, we will understand uh, YOLO version 2 in 10 minutes. Uh, there are many contributions in this paper. Joseph Redmond, Ali Ferhadi. Briefly, in this paper, there are two uh, designs, YOLO designs. First one is the extension study of YOLO version 1. The second one is YOLO 9000. As I mentioned, I will focus on the most important parts to understand what is going on in this version. YOLO suffers, uh, the authors explaining YOLO version 1, the drawbacks of uh, YOLO version 1 suffers from a variety of shortcomings relative to state-of-the-art detection systems. One of the most important change in this paper version, YOLO version 2, is adding anchor boxes. YOLO predicts the core, YOLO version 1 predicts the coordinates of bonding boxes directly using fully connected layers on top of the convolutional feature extractor. So each grid predicts coordinates of bonding boxes directly using the loss function. But in this version, there is, it is different. Instead of predicting coordinates directly, faster RCNN predicts bonding boxes using hand-picked priors. Predicting offsets instead of coordinates simplifies the problem and make, makes it easier for the network to learn. How? We remove the full connected layers from YOLO version 1 and use anchor boxes to predict bonding boxes. YOLO's convolutional layers downsample the image by a factor of 32 so by using an input image of 416 by 416 we get an output feature map of 13 by 13 in the output they got a feature map of 13 by 13 they don't use fully connected layers this is a very important part when we move to anchor boxes we also decouple the class prediction this is also important part so here it's saying that uh, instead of predicting the class with addition to special location x, y, width and height, they don't do it. It was done uh, in version 1, but here they do predict the class and objectness for every anchor box. YOLO version 1 only predicts 98 boxes per image. As you remember in our first video YOLO version 1, it was, uh, the grid number was 7x7 seven seven and it becomes uh, 49. Each grid uh, was uh, predicting 2 boxes, so it becomes 98 boxes per image. But with anchor boxes, our model predicts more than a thousand. As I mentioned uh, my, in my uh, videos, I don't pay attention to experimental uh, results and comparison so much you can understand uh, by using the papers and other sources here they will describe the authors describe dimension clusters we encounter we encounter two issues with anchor boxes when using them with yolo the first is that box dimensions are hand picked uh, in yolo version 1 so here, instead of choosing priors, they run k-means clustering on training set bonding boxes to automatically find good priors, good anchor sizes. If you use standard k-means, again, they, use, they didn't use standard k-means, they used another uh, distance function. And uh, in this figure, how many clusters to be used for the anchor boxes? When they when they increase the cluster number, they increase average intersection of union, as you see here in the y-axis, vertical axis. It increases, but the model complexity incre increases. So to trade off between model uh, complexity and also accuracy, also they compare the cluster number anchor number with uh, different uh, choices for example in this table an anchor boxes in faster rcnn hand picked 60.9 they got 67.2 average intersection of union when using nine uh, clusters of anchor boxes it's kind of a training uh, procedure uh, for the selection of anchor boxes another important uh, part multi-scale training. The original YOLO version 1, since our model only uses convolution and pooling layers, it can be resized on the fly. So in the same training and every 10 batches, they resize the images and the network. And so 
the network will learn different resolutions uh, simultaneously. This is another important contribution. Let's touch base on the uh, CNN structure. At that time, most detection frameworks rely on VGT16, but it is it has. 30.69 billion floating point operations but in YOLO version 1 they use Google Net architecture with 8.52 billion operations however in YOLO version 2 they propose Darknet 19 their final model has 5.58 billion operations let's go over with the experiment experimentation result when they have the bigger resolution they got the state-of-the-art result mean average precision with 40 frame per second when we compare with YOLO version 1 uh, there, there is a huge improvement and single shot detectors also uh, very competitive less uh, faster RCNN uh, is also looks very competitive uh, in mean average percentage precision but frame per second in faster RCNN is much less than YOLO uh, and single shot detectors that's the main point uh, of authors claimed. The, the thing that is missing in the paper is the loss function. Another a very important uh, contribution is in this paper. We propose a mechanism for joint training on classification and detection data. So in YOLO version 2, they use two different data sets. One detection data sets, localization data sets. Two is classification data sets. They jointly use those two data sets in their training and uh, they decide based on the label of the uh, data set which uh, loss function to be used. Authors uh, propose a hierarchical data sets to work with detection and classification at the same uh, training proce procedure. I will not go uh, deep, deep. We want to train, train an extremely large scale detector so we, we create our combined data set using the COCO detection data set and the top 9000 classes from the full image net release. We evaluate the YOLO 9000 on the image net detection task. The detection task for the image net shares on 44 objects categories with COCO, which means that YOLO 9000 has only seen classification data for the majority of the test categories. Beauty in this paper is proposing an idea to train joint detection and classification data sets and in the testing data it will still be localized and uh, classify unseen data unseen classes in the detection uh, training data that's very good contribution let's wrap up the video we introduced YOLO version 2 and YOLO 9000 systems real-time detection systems YOLO version 2 is the state of the art and faster than other detection system across a variety of detection data sets furthermore it can be run at a variety of image sizes to provide a smooth trade-off between speed and accuracy I hope uh, I give you most important uh, contributions on in this paper um, and please subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment here thank you very much for uh, watching have a good one see you in the next video YOLO version 3